everyone. This is Bro Rogan, the host of Why Not Podcast. We back at the Why Not Studio, and we sitting here with with someone, man. I've been waiting to sit down with. It's, it, you know, I just found out about this fella like a few weeks ago, but the first time I seen his interview, I was like, yo, I got to get him on here. And we we had the luxury of having him on right away. I didn't know, you know, we was gonna get this lucky. But we sitting here with one of the one of the the guys who making a noise right here in the city, man. And and uh, we sitting here with four extra. What's going on with you, buddy? How you doing, man? How you doing, man? Hey, How man, you doing, we man? chilling, How man. Doing, we man? chilling. You know what How I'm you saying? Doing, man? So, like, we we started chopping it up a little bit when you first got here, man. So I want to like basically say the same things I was saying to you off camera, on camera, because. Like I was telling you, the first time I seen you, I could see the potential. And like, and like this ain't even no funny shit, but like when it comes to this internet, it's, it's, it's dudes out here really getting money on this internet, man. Hell yeah, they getting paid off this shit. They getting paid they off getting this paid, shit. They get, they, and they, they paying mortgages off this shit. Hey, they paying mortgages, they buying properties, they buying trucks. They, and what I'm noticing with a lot of people who getting money, they get money off of our life. They getting L.A., L.A. stories. It be yeah. niggas from bumfuck whatever talking about gang wars and yeah. all that shit. They get, they get paid off our stories and shit. They get paid off our life stories, our kids' stories out here in the ghetto. Exactly. Out here in our areas, our struggles and stuff. Exactly. And you know what I'm talking about? They, well, you know, they, they look at it. They ain't never lived in it. They a lot of these people ain't never lived this. They in the South lived. Central, it's a different. In L.A. on the West Coast, it's, it's different. It's different. From from other places. Exactly. So you know what I'm and that's what I noticed and that 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 and I'm not going to say it bothers me, but what I what I what, what what I don't like about it is when when they don't let the guys from here get a piece of it. So like when I see guys like you, I see C Mac and I'm like, "Yo, these dudes, they got it to where like they could take advantage of this internet because these people across the world, these people across the state, man, they they love LA shit." See, this the point. This how I look at it. It don't bother me, you know right, what I'm saying? Exactly. Cause off the back, you know what I'm talking about? But the thing is like, when we do come up, you know what I'm talking about? And we sh share our life stories with the world and all that. I look at it like, you know what I'm talking about? Give that man, you know what I'm saying? What he's supposed to get, you know what right, I'm saying? Give Cause him. there's a lot of people out here that play people that be trying to get over on people, right. you know what I'm talking about? And swindle people out of their stuff, you know what I'm saying? You want to hear that man's story, you know what I'm saying? Pay that man what he's worth, you know what I'm saying? Get that right. man what he's supposed to get, you know what I'm saying? If people want to hear it, you know what I'm talking about? Because life stories out here, you know what I'm saying? It's not a game. Right, you know not what I'm at saying? all. And a lot of stuff, how people grew up out here, a lot of people out here done died, then got life out here. Right. You get know what I'm saying? Seen their right. friends die. Right. Seen their family members die, you know right. what I'm saying? It's hard out here, you get know what I'm saying? Boy. I'm not saying it's no different from other places, but on the West Coast, you get know what I'm saying? Out here, it's a whole different ball game out that's, here. And, and then another thing about that, it's a whole nother ball game, but we got guys imitating what they see or heard us do, and like when you got a real one, like someone like yourself, someone who'd have been through the trenches, who'd have seen it all, who really about this life, who really in these streets, it's like, yeah, like y'all may have heard what's going on here, but nigga, I really lived through this shit. Yeah, but you know, that, that, that's it's gonna, it's gonna always be like that to me in life, you get what I'm saying? Right. That's like a person that's always trying to live another man's image, you get right, what I'm saying? Right, right. And it's trying to take after a person, you get what I'm saying? But you can never be that person. Never. That's just like I always said, you know, last, all you always say on these interviews, you get what I'm saying? That's like a buster out here, you get what I'm saying? <laughs> that's a lot of real ones in jail. Right. You get what I'm saying? Right. And I speak for them, you get what I'm saying? That's a lot of real ones stuck on them yards out here that's trying to get off that yard to right. make it back to the streets. Right. You know what I'm saying? I was fortunate to make it off the yard to make it back to these streets. You know what right. I'm saying? So I don't want to let them down. There's a lot of real ones up in there. When you make it off the yard, they look, they count on you to make it. Right. You get know what I'm saying? See, so you lifting them up, you know what I'm saying? Just by getting out, they look at that and they proud just because you made it off the yard. You get know what I'm saying? It's hard to make it off the yard, but you know you got a lot of busters out here. You know what I'm saying? That imitates they image, right. you get what I'm saying? But they not them. Right. And then you know they pay you off, try to pay you off. Right. You know what I'm talking about? Right, right. No, I don't fuck all that. Right, see that, that? That's one of the things you said on one of the interviews that I really respect. You said you want to come out here and, and, and do it for the guys on the yard who can't be here. Let them, let them see, like, there's an opportunity. And, like, that's what I'm, that's the first thing I thought about when I seen you and when I, when I wanted to get you on here because I'm like, man, this brother's speaking some truth. And and well, I know yeah, it's yeah. easy to get caught up in some bullshit, especially when you're back free. Quit. Hell yeah, and it's especially like, when you back free. You know what I'm saying? You it's get just back like, free. It's just like, yeah, I just got out of jail the other day, the day before yesterday. You know what I'm saying? I come back from no jumpers. 
You know what I'm talking about? I come back from the No Jumper stores and we blogging and stuff, you know, crash put right up on us. See? You know what I'm talking about? Uh, what you doing? Fuck you mean? You see we blogging out here, you get what I'm saying? Right. They blur, oh, 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 gang members around. We uh, violating you. Violate me for what? Right. You know what I'm saying? You see me blogging, but that's a roadblock. That's you know what I'm saying? They took me down. I was in jail for like, I went to jail on Sunday. I got off Friday. You know what I'm saying? But that's a roadblock. Damn. That's the shit I be talking about. They always try to stop. One thing for sure, you know what I'm saying? When they see especially a black man, Come up out the ghetto uh -huh. and come up. You get what I'm saying? And he doing good. They throw everything they could at you to stop. 100%. You get what I'm saying? They not stopping me. You see where I'm at right now. Hey, hey, hey come on now. Let's go. Hey, hey, you know what I'm hey, about? hey. I'm hey. on this motherfucker. On the real. And that's, that's a beautiful thing, man. I'm glad that you noticed that because they will try to stop you. Yeah. You look in the news every fucking day. And we talking about even, even niggas who, who already established at a certain point. You get to a level and they want to bring you down. Hell yeah, they do. Now, I'm not trying to say in, uh, all the shit that these niggas is getting accused of. It might be true. But at a certain point, you got to be like, yo, when is it going to stop? Like, just because a nigga at a certain level don't mean he got there doing scandalous shit. I feel, I, this how I feel. I feel long as we black in America, we always going to have a problem. See? We got a target on our back, just our skin color, well, let alone. Good. So it ain't gonna never stop. It ain't gonna you stop. get what I'm saying? It's the way we carry ourselves and the way we protect ourselves with our lives out here. You get what I'm saying? Right. So at the end of the day, we always gonna have a target on our back. Right. You get what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, but yeah. they can't stop us. One thing I got learned when I was a kid, you get what I'm saying? They hide everything in the books. Boy. Hey, I got, I, I got a whole library on. back there. I see it. Hey, look, I Aaron, see it. you go in my backpack. Like, I, I'm an avid reader. I'm sure you read some of the books I've read, like Behold a Pill Horse Come and on, a bunch man. of those books. Come on, man. Like, because, like, I've been, I've, I I didn't go to the pen, but I I didn't been in the system. You ain't got to. My whole the, family is. Yeah, you ain't got you ain't got to go to jail to be educated. No, not at all. No, you ain't got to go to not jail. Not at all. Or street. But I'm saying, See, they I hide it in the book. Think that shit. No, I, I don't ain't letting them. Fuck that. No, I ain't letting them. You doing good. Oh yeah, I'm doing all right. You got your shoe. You doing good. I'm doing good. You got your own shit. Yes, I do. That's good. Yeah, and I and I love it. You want to be like that, and a lot of people. Black people respect that. A lot of men look at that like, damn, he made it. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? You yeah. got to give props when it's due. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Right. And that's off, off the back. I give props to every real one when, when it's due. See? And as, a, and as an older guy, what I, what I learned now is like, yeah, I'm from here. And like uh, back in the day, nigga was excited for the bullshit. But now my whole mentality is different. Now I look at the youngsters, whether it's like, and like, I want to see them niggas make it. Like, I know Hell it's yeah. beefs out here. I know niggas got, got ops, and I know niggas, Hell yeah. that, that's what you born into. Hell but when, yeah. I, when, I, when I see dudes, I be like, damn, man, like, you got so much potential, man. man like, like, don't let this little dumb shit bring you down, I because. Always, I, always, I, always, I always tell every youngster, and I tell my fans, you know what I'm talking about, the ones that root for me, the ones that are going for me, you know what I'm saying? I tell my young homies, you get what I'm saying? Make it in life, make you get what I'm saying? Look at me. Right. I was stuck on the wall. I was See? stuck behind the fence. Prime now example. look at me. I'm on TV. You on TV? I, you know what I'm saying? I'm on. Right. Shit, only been on four months. You know hey. what I'm saying? Hey. It's not going to stop me down. Don't slow. Don't let nobody slow you down. And don't never let nobody tell you you can't do it. And you know what's, going, what's even crazier than that? It's only going to get better for you, though. That's how I look at it's it. It's only going to, man, I'm telling you like this. I'd have been around this shit for, man, I'd have been in this circle, that circle, this circle. And there's certain people where you know, like, yo, this dude can really go up. Hell you yeah. You can really go up. So, Fuck like, here. that's why I couldn't wait to get you here today. That's why you're here right oh, now. Oh, you should have been got me I, here. Hey, you hey, should have hey. bust a motherfucker down there. Hey, you should have hey, been bust a motherfucker real. down there. Hey, on the he real. You should have been got me here. Hey. I got, I got you as soon as I thought I could, You man. see, as soon as you call me what I do, Thank I'm near. And he pulled up with no problem, no ASAP. problem. And, and that's what the fuck I respect, man, because like I told my, my producer, before he even knew, I said, man, it's a young dude on the internet. I said, man, I got to get this dude on here because, like, not only, like you said, you got fans out here, and I'm one of them because, like, I love the realness of you. You, you, you say it how it is, you talk your shit, and you let everybody know, like, nigga, I'm not going for that bullshit. I don't, I keep I, and I'm the here board. for my niggas that's behind the walls that ain't going to have this opportunity. So I'm like, man, I need him not only to come say that on my platform and help me build, but if it's something I could do to help him build his shit, Hell man, yeah. I'm right here. Hell so, yeah. like, I know, I know, like, they got the bigger platforms, you got the cams and the, and the no jumpers, and I respect them. Yeah, hell but, yeah. like, the little guys is here with y'all, too. Oh, look, that's, that's, you, you know what I'm saying? You, look, one thing for sure, 
You got the big platforms, but the small platforms, and never forget where you come from. Never forget I come, come from the from. same struggle you come from. 100%. So any, you call me, I'm going to come. Right. Because we come from the same struggle. 100%. You know what I'm saying? Just because you're not big like the next platform don't mean I'm not coming. Oh, I'm going you to be, though. Saying? And so let alone you my people. Right. So I'm really coming. Right, right, right. And like, and, and like I was telling him, like, like I'm... I know a lot of his folks, man. Like, yeah, we ain't got to get in the names you and do. shit, but like, we I'm talking about names, but you know a lot, real, though. real ones. I'm like, yeah, these ain't names that, this ain't. He didn't name some real ones. He hey, named some real ones. These just niggas that, like, when they see me, they gonna, they gonna laugh, like, oh my God. Like, they go, they might say my real name. They go, Deshaun, they go, Lil J from the barbershop cousin. Cause, like, and like, so, like, when I saw you coming up, I'm like, damn. I'm like, I know I'd have seen him before. You know you'd have seen you me. You was causing so much havoc in the streets. You probably was in and out of that motherfucker. So I didn't get a real chance to like, like get to know you, know you. But like, I'm sure we did cross paths, man. Mm -hmm. And like, I'm just, I'm just happy that we able to sit down, man, and like really chop it up because like, you got some of these people that they want to just, just come up off of what you pop, you popping right now. Like you yeah. said, you popping. So certain people might not really even give a fuck about you. You know what I'm saying? All they give a fuck about is the views. Yeah. See me, I'm different. Like I give a fuck because I'm like, these niggas is from the same struggle as me. Like Hell yeah. I already know I'm gonna make it. I, I, I might be a little platform, but nigga, I'm gonna be up there see, with them see, big boys. See, it's one thing for sure, everybody gotta start off somewhere. You gotta start off you somewhere. You get what I'm saying? And, and you can't judge nobody. You get what I'm saying? That's but you got a lot of people that judge quickly. 100%. You know what I'm saying? Don't judge a book by its cover. Nah. You get what I'm saying? Never. Because at the end of the day, you could see today you could be down. Tomorrow you could be the motherfucking president. Right. So we already right. see that Rock Obama. You get what I'm saying? That <laughs> proves that right there. Right. You right. get what I'm saying? So oh, at the end you? of the day, I ain't gonna never ever let nobody think tell me that I can't do it. Right. You see? get what I'm saying? That's my goal for sure. I speak for all the real ones behind the walls and all that. That's for sure. Right. I'm coming out here. I look, I feel like this. You know what I'm saying? To me, that's more than enough. You get what I'm saying? Right. So right. if this shit shut down tomorrow, hey. you know what I'm talking about? I walked in the door. Yeah, you did. You get what I'm saying? And I spoke for the real ones. I got my voice out there. Uh -huh. You understand it? You get what I'm saying? I'm keeping it across the board. I'm not going to sugarcoat shit with nobody. See? And I tell every interview, don't blog or cut shit out. Nah, nah. We, don't, we, we, we straight up. Keep live. this motherfucking rolling. Oh, no. We not editing nothing, man. Off the bat. We not editing nothing. But, like, what I do want to say is, I just... And I'm going to keep saying this. I don't want to see no negative shit. Like, I know, because niggas going to try you. Niggas going to try to try to bring up the bullshit. Oh, I hope they do. Try to roll. I hope no, they do, but man. Like, no, hey, no, they, they don't want to come off. <laughs> these niggas, yeah, we know they not. These niggas know monsters <laughs> when they see it. So these niggas know who to play with, especially when it comes to this industry. You see, But see, that's the point, though. It don't matter what they do, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's the world for you. Yeah. That's the world, and you gotta be prepared and that's for the world, it. and that's the society now. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody's prepared. I hope you prepare. Yeah. Because if you walk in my lane <laughs> and you ain't prepared, hey. it's over. Your ass getting ate by the lion. <laughs> hey, come the on you Let's go. Saying? But at the end of the day, you get what I'm saying? Every you got all type of ways. You got haters uh -huh. and what's the name? 100%. And I don't know why people hate in life. You know what I'm saying? And most of us all come from the same struggle right. and the ghettos and shit. You get what I'm saying? Right. You see the next black man up. Right. You get what I'm saying? And my whole thing with that is like. There's levels to this shit, right? Hell yeah, it is. There's levels. Hell yeah, it's levels. You just can't walk up, when they wake let up you and, in this... and get there that one, and nah, like, nah, wake nah. up and say, oh, I'm here. It don't work like uh -uh. that. But like, with these levels, they open one door. They test you. Is he going to be able to survive this door? Then they open that next. But when you get to that next door, they're going to really try to test you. And they're going to really try to like, take whatever you made from these doors away from you. I'm just, I just want you to know, like, Nigga, they not bigger than you. They not bigger than the program. And as long as you keep your focus the same, I've, you can be in that. See, this the thing with me. Ain't nobody bigger than me. Boy, go ahead. I, you heard I, that off down? The back. Hey, on top. Put that, put that in the camera. Hey, keep that shit. Ain't no nigga, ain't no nigga, nigga bigger than me. This nigga right That's here. on the set. This is all fuck with this nigga I don't even right think half of these niggas walk the mile I walk. No, nah, they haven't. But you know what I'm saying? I can't no be. nigga walk up. Oh, oh, man, I'm doing, you know, better or I'm richer. So what, so what? nigga? Right. I don't give a fuck, nigga. That don't make you a real nigga. What you nigga? telling me for? That don't make you a real nigga? Because nah, nah. you got some money in your pocket? Nah, nah, You get what I'm saying? No, no. Because that nigga, you might be scared behind closed doors. Hey, come on, You walk the walls up, walk nigga, you want to lock it up. Hey, hey, is they rolling it up? And they rolling it up, what, dog. Nigga? <laughs> Get him. 
Hey, see, this is why I wanted him here, man. Like, this energy. And with that kind of energy, everybody not blessed with this, with, with that charisma, with that, with that talent. And this internet is paying. And, and, and one thing for sure. This internet one is thing paying. I, and one thing I tell a youth out there, and one thing I tell a fan, and one thing I tell people. Take advantage of it. You That's what, what I'm saying? At the end of the day, if you don't take advantage, somebody gonna take advantage for you. That's why. That's how hey. I look at it. And look, he understand everything this is about. Cause this whole interview for me was to let you know, not not saying that you didn't know. You obviously do. But my whole message to you coming here was, brother, take advantage of this shit. Oh, I'm taking advantage. I know ASAP. a lot of guys who they they taking advantage of and like. See, this the they don't even know it. See, this is the cold part. I just don't take advantage for me. I take advantage, let alone yeah. for my family. Go ahead. You get what I'm saying? That in midst out of all the years that I've been behind the wall, I take advantage of for the real ones behind that wall that can't get out here and do it. Right. You get what I'm saying? Right. Because it's a lot of talent and it's a lot of real ones between that wall right. that's trying to get out here on these streets right now and as we talking. Right. So I take advantage just not... But my family is for them behind the walls, too, because they my family, too. Now, I'm glad you said your family, because one thing I did notice in one of your interviews, you, you brought up the sisters. Yeah, I brought up both of my sisters. You brought up your sisters. I brought up my and, sisters. And, and family, to me, is, 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 is important. So I, I love my family. You can go ahead and, and give your shout out. And oh, I want to oh, shout out oh, your you sisters. Know, you, I don't you know, know them, but my I, sister, I've Tammy heard you. And Emily. Okay. My sister, my sister Tammy and Emily, you know what I'm talking about? Shout They've out. been there the whole time while I was washed up. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Everything I needed, picked up every phone call, everything. You know what I'm talking about? My homie Baby Runner, uh -huh. he was always there. You know what oh, I'm I talking know Baby about? Runner. He was always there, you know what I'm talking about? Anything I needed, phone call, all the way to the last day. My big homegirl, Lady Gooch, I didn't say her last on the last show, she always been there too. Shout Just out like to my Gooch. sister, you know what I'm talking about? Okay. Shout out to my big homegirl, Lady Gooch. She was always there, you know what I'm talking about? Right, right. I love all my rivers and all shout out to all my rest of the homies. Go ahead. You know what I'm saying? From you the car, got, from hey. 30 to the 100 to the East Coast, hey, come, that been there for me too. Hey. Orlando. Hey, you know come on now. Hey, know. shout out to my, my, my Uncle Duck, T.A., uh, uh, Mon, uh, everybody. Like, I want to shout out to my homie Hustle Blue too. That's here. Come on, hood, man. Shout out to hey. Yeah, we gonna um, do some things with him too, man. Cause my platform is open, not just for the big ones, for everyone. See, because like, see, and, and, and see, this the this the thing. Not to cut you off. Not this the, see, this the thing right here. See with me, and I'm not big, but if anybody been watching my interviews and watching my stuff. I bring my homies with me every time. Yes, you and I and I let them talk and I have them to talk to my homies. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Because my homies got talent too. My young homies got talent too. Oh yeah, we, we got to promote your shit. You know what I'm saying? I want my young homies to blow up. I just don't just think about me. When I when I'm in the ghetto and I blow up and I come up in the ghetto, mm -hmm. I bring them with me. You get what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you forget about where you come from. Okay. Don't never, I tell niggas, don't never forget about where you come from. Because okay. where you come from, them the ones that was there for you when you was down. Okay, when you now, walking them blocks in the streets, you was there. Now you say you bring your homies, you want to help promote them too. And that's what we here to do, man. You brought somebody here too. You want to just, just say a name. You want to you give a shout out. You play I want to shout out. You ain't got to get on the camera. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Let shout me out. just shout, shout you shout out while you're here, Hister brother. Blue out. Shout my homie, shout my homie Lil Hister Blue out. What, can, they they find it? can they find this music on any platform? Yeah, yeah, you can find this music on what platform? Where your platform, man, your uh, Instagram? D Street Blue. D Street Blue. See, and that's what I'm, I'm all about, man. And I'm and I'm, I'm glad you brought brought up family. Like I said, I hear you talk about your sister because I love my sisters. And I, and I love my sisters. I love my big home girl. That's and I love saying. my homies. That's what I'm saying. Cause I'm without, without them, that's man. the diff. One thing I'm big on. I'm big on loyalty and I'm big on family. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Cause well, everything saying. is family. Remember. Family is everything. I'm family oriented, so family is everything to me. Right. At the end of the day, when you're stuck in that box between the walls, you're going to see the true colors of everything. Oh, that's you get what I'm saying? Most people, you know, I'll be talking about depending on the female. Now, okay. I'm not saying your girl not going to be there, but I'm telling you like this. Once you get stuck behind the walls with life, she's gone. She might be there a couple of years. Gone. She's going to be gone. Man. So get what you could up out of her. <laughs> get them a couple of phone calls. And get that up out of her. Hey. And get that out the way, because she's going to be gone. Hey, any nigga that's going to jail that's Expecting they bitch to stay down, nigga. You goofy, nigga. If a nigga worried about her, if you nigga worried about your bitch staying down, You're nigga, goofy. you might as well nigga worry about your dumb ass nigga sitting on the rack forever. Hey, and that's the thing that that like I'm about too, cause my family moved here from New Orleans back in the '70s, but then me and all my cousins was born here, so we all was raised in the same household. Seven, seven aunties, seven uncles, and thirteen cousins. Yeah. So we was in these streets like causing ha uh, havoc, but then like. Unfortunately, I done lost 
six of them niggas. It, 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 product to the ghetto, and I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? It's, but it's like this. It don't make us. It don't make Where we come from, that's what people think. Where we come from, don't make us. Not at all. You make yourself. 100%. Your cho you choose your path, how you go. You get what I'm saying? Just because we come from the ghetto don't mean I have to be stuck in the ghetto. Never again. You get what I'm saying? No, not at, at all. And at the end of the day, I'm not going to let, don't let nobody ever put you down. Nah. My dad always told me as a kid, no matter if you broke, you homeless, or you poor, put yourself at a high pedestal. Exactly. You get what I'm saying? Because nobody can never tell you what you can't do in life. 100%. You know what my uncle told me? At the end of the day, life goes on. Yeah, I'm right, he do. Life goes on. My mom was, was murdered by a drunk driver when I was two. I'm sorry to hear that. My mom died while I was in the cell. Damn, I'm sorry to hear that too. And like, one thing I didn't do, I didn't let none of that shit stop me from doing anything I wanted. I wasn't one of them niggas that sat in the room, oh, I ain't got no mama, or my cousin. Nah, nigga, you, you know, gotta go. Life goes on, and you better get to it, and you, because life will end on you. You know what I did? I took that shit and pushed harder. That's what I'm talking about. I took that shit and pushed harder. I strive harder and I strive more for it. Cause at the end of the day, when you lose your loved ones and the ones you love, cause it gets there. It gets and you, there. Or your mom, your dad, you get what I'm saying? Them the ones that had you. Them the ones that raised you. Them the ones that made you. Your dad taught you how to be a man. Or if your dad wasn't right there, your mom was taught you how to grow up, mm -hmm. to grow up in life, to be or successful and be productive in life. So at the end of the day, when it hits you like that, you type it and you strive it and you go harder. You gotta go That's, harder. You on your own now. You gotta go harder. So you gotta go harder. You and just can't let your, you can't let them down. Nah, not at all. And that's why I do what I do. That's why I'm happy to see you do what your, you you're do. Good looking, good looking. And like, Look, and, 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 and it's a, it's it, I take pride into getting older. Like I like from where we come from as youngsters. Like you, you looked up to your big homies. Damn I right, looked, I did. I looked up to they my, made my for us. I looked up to my older cousins and my uncles and shit. But nowadays with these young niggas, they think it's kind of like they make fun of niggas who are older. Like call you an old head. But to me, man, one thing well, see, I do appreciate is is. My age and my, my wisdom and everything I've seen and everything I'm going to do see, in see, life. See, I don't think it's a lot of youngsters out here who play. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, but they understand what time it is. You get what I'm saying? They do. It's older hands because for sure, the law is right there for them. Right. You get what I'm saying? Right. For sure, we're going to lay the rules down. You yes, can't sir. break the rules. Ain't no nigga bigger than the program. Hey, and if and you think you're bigger again. than the program, nigga, hey. nigga we going to bend your rap. You gonna Ain't no rap. nigga bigger than the program, nigga. Right. So at the end of the day, you get what I'm saying? The youngster, you know what time? Every... As life goes on, time changed. Right. You know what I'm saying? So as life goes on, you know, a lot like back in your days in the 80s, right. you get what I'm saying? Ooh, we was wearing air foes, shirt tucked in, you get what I'm saying? <laughs> the crazy. You know what I'm saying? The leather jackets. And as my life, as I grown, you know what I'm saying? We started wearing big shirts, you get uh -huh. what I'm saying? Dickies and Chucks, you yeah. get what I'm saying? Down the lights is skinny jeans, you get what I'm saying? And, I, and, and, and there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with That's it. That's the you know generation under us. It, you know, it's nothing wrong with it. You know what I'm talking about? It's good for them, you get what I'm saying? Right. They respect the elders. But at the end of the day, they understand that the older homies that came before us a, made the way for us and laid the foundation. 100%. You get what I'm saying? 100%. And at the end of the day, some of them act like they might not care, but trust me, they, they care. Right. And, Believe and that. Like I was saying, like that's one thing I really do appreciate. I, I appreciate being able to have a platform where I can, maybe nobody listen, but I, I just want to let the youngsters and like the people with the opportunities to let them know, like, nigga, like, I'm standing down. I'm standing behind you no matter what. Like, you know what I'm saying? Good even looking, even if looking. it's people you don't know, like, because yeah. it's like a real one recognize a real one. Oh, yeah. Off the back. So it's like, off the back. When you see the hunger in certain people and you see, like, the potential in people, like, more my whole thing, I just don't want to see niggas fail or fall into bullshit when they got opportunities to not. Because we all don't have the opportunities. We all don't have the potential. But when you see the people with the potential, man, I just want to be the voice to be like, hey, 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 come here. Man, if ain't nobody told you today, bro, I believe in you. And, like, I, I can see it in you. And, and I, I just want to see you go as far as the rest of these dudes. The rest and of that's these dudes, that's high. And that's a good thing. Like, you know. And that's a good thing. And that's a good thing. And that's a good thing. Because at the end of the day, you letting him know you're going to make it. You get what I'm saying? Don't right. let nobody stop you. Just don't look at me. Stop you. you made and, it. And this we is the message I'm it. saying to you. I know you're going to make it. Keep keep going, keep doing what you keep going on these interviews, smashing being you, because I am you do. is what got you where you at now. Not not trying to be somebody else, not, no. not, not trying to impress somebody. This is you 
100% authentic. 140%. And that shit ain't going to stop. And like I said, it's only going to get better. Like you said, you got a big interview coming up. Oh, yeah. No Boy, jumpers next hey, week. Come on, no now. Next week. You got no jumpers. You see hey, it. Hey, you hey. see it. And it's only going to get better, my brother. And I just want you to know that. And I'm glad I got to get you in here. And I, you know, I just want to relate that to you, man. And like, we're going to do some things in the future, man. Like, like I said, you like to promote your, your peoples. So I'm glad you got to come see the studio. You got some. Anything that you want to do in the future as far as, like, you want to throw a yeah. little after hour, you want to do a little listening party for your folks that rap, you got a little homie that rap. That ain't x -Fo. Shout out to x -Fo Shout too. out to my homie x -Fo too. Boy, oh, is he going oh, crazy. Oh, oh, oh. He going nuts. Yeah, he is. He going he got the nuts. Here, hey, ain't he nobody out. bigger than him now. He's sick. On the hood. And I, and On the hood. That's another dude. Like, I can't wait to get in here, but if I don't get to... Hopefully you can relate this message to him. Oh, I just you know, want him to know. I'm, I'm leaving going. right here, going straight to the set after this. <laughs> he right in the set. You know how that go. <laughs> right, right. And, and I know, and I know, I know y'all section going crazy because like what? nigga, the he, on the mat. Y'all niggas, y'all niggas drinking. They, you kicking down out, doors. You, 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 nigga, we in the doors. You can't nigga get us up out of that bitch. And he kicking these motherfuckers down for I'm him to man, get out like this and be as huge as he getting it. And pro at the same time, man, y'all niggas is tearing the whole. It's like a motherfucking tornado. You know when that tornado come, you better get in that. Motherfucking basement. If you don't, it's hey, over. You know how many niggas out of town gonna be wearing brewer hats ah, now because of these gloves, niggas? Man. Gloves like you love it. Come on, now. niggas gonna have them gloves on their hat and they ain't never been on Vernon in their life. On it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, that dope. All right, right. Well, man, I'm glad you came through here, man. and did this to me. We are gonna make it short, but as long as you got the message, I was trying to relate to you and you take me. Serious. Oh, I got the message. Cause I'm being dead ass serious and, and, when and, I say look, like and, the and, potential. And, and I, I see and, it, and brother. I respect that. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. And good looking for telling me. That, you know what I'm talking about? 100%. And I respect this, that for letting me come on the real. platform. You get what I'm saying? This all That's real. good. All, everything across the board. You get what I'm saying? Because what you're speaking is all facts it's and all knowledge. Bro, you, you're welcome here anytime, brother. You got our numbers. Anything you want to do, even it, if anytime y'all call me, I'm going to show up. That's, That's all, all, all you're doing. Shout and out one, to Lupe. Thank shout you. Out, shout out to my manager, Lupe. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Hey, hey, Lupe, shout out good. to Lupe. You already know. Shout out to my nigga, Fo Erson. We out of here. Let's go. How you do?